Carlo. Good morning and welcome to the Green Valley Parkinson's Support Group exercise class. Um, if you're joining us online on YouTube, welcome. You'll need a straight back chair without arms, a pair of light hand weights, a tennis ball, a slightly larger ball, one that a small child would play with, and it's good to have water. So we don't spend the entire time in a chair, so uh, make sure that you have plenty of room when you do stand up. So we're gonna start though in a seated position, sitting toward the front of the chair, got bare feet, and um, your feet flat on the floor, your hands resting on your thighs, a good straight back, and take a deep breath through the nose. And let that air out through the mouth. Again, and let it out. Drop the chin to the chest, pressing your shoulders down. Now look up, relaxing the jaw and the mouth opens. Back to a neutral position. Try to lay that ear closer to the shoulder and to the other side. Again, center and Drop the chin to the chest. Slowly circle the head. Maybe get that full rotation in the other way. And again, chin to the chest. Look up and stretch and center. And then turn to look to one side and then to the other side. And one more time. And forward for some shoulder rolls. Keep in mind this is just warm up so you want to loosen up a bit and reverse it. Two, three, four, and five. The arms out from the shoulders. So shoulders relax through the fing fingers. Good. <laughs> and then extend them out tapping each finger to the thumb. And again, they stretch out, scratch, scratch the air. And then make a fist and squeeze, making it a tight fist and then out. And again, squeeze hard and then out. The shoulders relaxed and it's a circle. One, two, two thank you. Three, three four, four, five, five reverse it. Five, five four, three, three two, two, one. And circles of your choice, just don't hit anyone. Warm up the shoulders. Good, let's go the other way. Perfect. And now, taking those arms overhead, reaching one, one and two. two. Look up and, and stretch. Three, three good. and four, and, and one more. Five, the arm is now to the side. It's a flexed hand. Bring it to the shoulder and one, it's out in. Two, two three, four, Five. Good job. And they come down, resting the hands on the chair. Again, still sitting tall for a side stretch. Oh, yeah. A good time to insert a yawn, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, up and over. And then cross the arms over the chest, twisting the torso as far as you can to one side. <laughs> Bless you. And then to the other side. Nice. And back to this forward facing. The hands are here, shifting the weight, lifting the opposite hip up. And two, two and three, and good. Four, and, and last one. Five, Take it into a march. Push them back. <laughs> good job. All right, we come to rest with our feet in that same position that we started with. The arms are dropped and you're sitting tall in the chair, looking forward. So some heel taps, out and in, alternating right and left. You got it. So flex foot, toes up. One more on each side and we bring it back to a starting position for rocking. Heel pumps, toe pumps, so it's back and forth. You can even alternate, one up, one down. Too much to think about, okay. <laughs> and we come to rest right here. Great, so we're gonna grab the weights. 
And the grip that you use is a soft but firm grip. So if when we take a break and you let go, you feel all this blood just whoosh, back into lighten up a little bit. So again, sit tall, lift into the shoulder. It's one, two, two count with me. Three, even if you're at four, home, help us. Five, six, six seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. And again, they rest. So stretch it out, breathe it out. Again, tuck them and look forward. Raise them one, one two, two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep them, drop those arms to the side of the chair, rotating the shoulders forward and back and pinching the shoulder blades together. Good. Forward and pull them back. Good. And then they are just dropped. Focus on something in front of you about eye level as you tuck and stretch. Good job. Come up and take it to the other side. Good job. And bring it back. Eliminating one, placing that on the floor underneath your chair. Keeping this one in one hand, it's going to go up and then it's going to drop over the head. It doesn't rest on the head, it's just hovering. All right. So it's up one, and down. Two. two working the tricep. Three, Good. Four. Five. five you got it. Six. six seven, seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. ten. And lower it down. Keep it in that hand. We've got a second set to do. It's happy music. Okay. Again, straight up. Drop it over the head, looking forward, chin up, and it's one, one good, two, two three, three, you got it, four, four five, six, six uh -huh, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Super job. Place it in the other hand. Okay. Straight up. It goes over the head, and it's straight one, up from the shoulder. Two, two good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more set and we're done with that. So take a deep breath. Exhale. Looking forward, extend and drop it over the head. It's one, two, good. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Tell me you felt that, right? Okay, so on the floor it goes. We're going to bring our feet into a closed position. A little adjustment in the chair, maybe the arms crossed over your chest and the hands on your shoulders. The legs now extend and the feet lift. It's flex and point. Two, Working your feet and three, ankles. Four, five, five good. Six, six seven. seven eight nine toes up it's a flex foot heels touch and toes out one, in two, two good three, three four reverse five, it one, one two three four five then they come back to the starting position separate them and lace the fingers you're sitting more forward than back as you lift a knee those hands just below it lift it up high and circle doing a Fred <laughs> four, five, reverse it. Five, four, three, two, one. The feet hit the floor, lift it up, sitting tall. One, two, three, four, good. Five, reverse it. Five, four, three, two, one. And right into that position. Reach down and grab those again, please. We're going to do one last one for our shoulders. It's an overhead. So, it's here. Looking forward. You got it? There you go. After you kicked it underneath. So we're going to extend it overhead. One, two, two good, three, three yes, four, four, five, six, six seven, eight, eight. Happy Monday. Nine, <laughs> ten. ten. And down. Take a break. Breathe. Stretch. 
Again, focus as you extend them overhead. One, two, three. Yes, four, five, six, seven. We're almost there. Nine and ten. Great job. All right, on the floor it goes. Out of the way. And keeping the feet wide, but coming forward in the chair a little bit. You can want more space behind you. One leg out. The hands cradling the knee, sitting tall, lengthening the spine as you reach forward from the hip. Arms travel down, drop into the stretch. And come up, good, sitting tall. Again, reaching up and over. The head drops, breathe with it. Good, and come up. The leg comes in, the other one extends. It shoulders over hips as you reach forward. Try not to bounce, but just stretch it out. Good, and come up. And again, reaching forward. Drop into it. And come up, super job. Back to this position with a wider one now. So it's a little shift of weight. Sitting tall, the arms are out. And we're gonna place this hand on the inside for support, straight up with this arm. And then we're gonna twist, reaching for the ceiling, looking up at your fingers, and this hand is traveling down the inside toward the ankle, looking up at the ceiling, good. And then bring it back to a neutral position, try it on the other side, straight up, twist, and reach for it. Oh, it's a good stretch, good. The arms both out. They drop down, pivoting on the heel and the ball of the foot. You want to bring your feet back to a closed position. Arms crossed. Stretching forward, looking about two or three feet beyond your toes. The knees open. And all that weight is on the outside of the foot. Right, it was good. And bring it up. Again, transfer the weight and stretch it out. Nice job. And there. So we're in this position. We're going to do some stretching. Fingers included. So nice open hand across the chest and up. Reaching for the sky. Sit tall in the chair and don't lift a hip off that seat as you stretch opposite side. Good. Across and the arm parallel to the floor. Super. To the other side. Down, across the body to the outside of the opposite foot, palm of the hand facing out, good. And then here, good, nice. Shoot that arrow across. And how about on this side? Good. Reaching up and stretching up. Great job. You know you have a tennis ball in your chair? Maybe you don't at home, but Next time you will. So, we're gonna, oh, that was good, Mary. Lives on the edge. All right. So, we're gonna um, warm up our hands and feet later, but right now we're gonna do some opposite motion. So, hold it in your dominant hand. Pretend to throw forward as you raise the opposite knee. So, it's one, transfer it to the other hand. Again, throwing forward, two, transfer it. And you're gonna throw to the side, looking, transfer it, the opposite leg. Four. Perfect, Dora. And it's an open position. Four. And now it's a closed six. position. So those are the six movements. So sit tall and don't really throw it. But it's one, one two, two, to the side, three, three other side, four, four open, one, five, and bring it in six. six. One more time. So sit tall. Are you ready? Go. One. One. Yes. Two. two three, three. Four. Five. five. Bring it in. Six. six. <laughs> I love, see how much fun that is? <laughs> All right. So take that and place it back into the chair. Great job. Now we're going to turn, um, keeping our feet in a wide position, but we're going to swivel around in the chair. And you're gonna have the 
front chair leg in between your feet. The arm close to the back will hold the frame as the back leg extends and the arm reaches. Fingers spread apart. Grab an imaginary rope. Pull it towards your chest. Bring the leg in. Tuck the chin to the chest and round your back. Again, reaching, stretching. Good. Grab it and curl it up. Nice. Let's do two on the other side. So keep your feet wide for balance. Straddle that chair leg. Hold on with the inside hand. Reaching forward more than you thought you could. Yes. Curl it up into a ball. Again, reaching. And curl it up. Beautiful. And come up. And we come back into this position. So you do need to have some space around your chair if you're at home. We're going to do some more stretching. And that means both legs out. One crossed on top of the other. The arms are out. The hands kind of form that V. First of all, you want to reach forward and then drop down. One, and it's four more. Two, Two. yeah. Three. Three, great job. Four. four, last one. Five. Five, and then separate. Keep those feet on the floor, tall in the chair, reaching forward, drop into it. One. One. Two. Two. Whoops. Three. Three. That's okay. Four. And we've got five. five. Super job. All right. Open position. Nice and wide. Working within your range of flexibility. And we want those knees pretty much in line with the feet. Again, the arms are out. It's an open hand. Reaching at the back of the heel. One. To the other side. Two. Two. You got it. Three. Three. Four. Five. five six. six. Seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. And they come back into a starting position right there. All right. Um, we are going to do some stretching. Doesn't require anything with our weight. So the arms are out. It's an open hand. We're going to fold at the elbow, placing that hand on the chest. Looking over at this one. Slide it through the imaginary sleeve, down that arm, trying to line up the hands. Nice, Jane, it's hard. And then pull it out and unfold it. Try the other side. It folds in, look over here, slide it down, good. And slide it out and open it up, good. So palms up, palms forward, palms down and back. Yeah, let's try that again. It's a good rotation. So up, forward, down, and back. Yeah, good job. And now we're going to have the bent elbows and an open, open hand. Close that book. Open it as wide as you can. Good. Close it up. Good. And open it and close it up. And there. We're going to drop one like a scarecrow. And there. All right. The praying hands, the elbows that are lifted. It's um, just the hands that do the work. Yeah. Back and forth. Good. And then into a little scrunched position, stretch them out, bring it in. Out and in. Out and in. Last one. Good. And again, shake them out. Good posture throughout this time. So the arms are out. We're going to, again, work shoulders, rotating that soft hand, arms extended. One is down and the other is up. Flip that pancake. Flip that pancake. <laughs> Both are up. Tuck the elbows and the arms again to the side, stretching. There's a few of those exercises because we spend so much time like this, right? Yeah. Whether you're eating, sitting, driving, watching TV, the posture. So let's, you know, delay all of that by opening it all up. And so one hand out, an open hand. We're going to grab the fingers with the other and gently stretch that hand. Fingers up, pull them back. Great. Now the other one. Palms up, stretch them down. 
and pull back. Good job. The arms are out where you can see them. Tapping the index finger to the thumb, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, back again. Good. Finger flicks. Mary likes this one. <laughs> finger presses. Pressing hard with each one against the thumb. Good job. Yeah, and shake it out. All right. One that I don't care for, but we'll do it. Isolating the thumb and the fingers. So, one, two, two three, three, four, five. five. One more time. One, one two, two, three, three four, five. five. Great job. And shake it out. All right, enough of that. So, we're in this position with our feet wide for balance, right? Okay, forward and back. We're going to do a chair lift. So, brace your hands here, lifting your body up with the upper body strength that you have. So forward a bit, lift it up, One, down, two, two good, three, three four, four, very nice, five, five six, six, seven, eight, eight yes, nine, nine ten. ten, super job. Now bring it into a closed position. The feet touch, the knees touch, and a little further away from the back of the chair. We're going to bring the knees to the chest and down, so hold on, lean back, and it's up. One, two, two shout it out. Three, three four, good, five, five six, six, excellent, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine and ten. ten. Great job. Separate them, catch your breath, have some water if you need it. We'll move right along. The arms are out for some toe touches, alternating up and two, two and Three, good, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and back into this position. Holding on if you need it. We're going to lift one knee, and it's a unicycle. So we're going to circle. Yeah, working hip, knee, and ankles. Oh, you forgot something. Go back. <laughs> Go back, back, back. Good. And the last one. Placing it wide. The weight shifts. It's up and circle. One, two, two three. three. Good. Four, four five. five. Reverse it. Five, five four, four, three, two, two one. one. And we come to rest right there. All right. The weights, we need them again. Placing them toward the edge with an open hand, sitting tall and looking forward. Lift a knee, extend the leg, bend it, place it down, shift to the other side, up, out, out in, in down. down. Again, two, two out, in, in down. down, up, up out, in, in down. down, three, straighten out, leg, in, in down, four, up, out, out in, in, you down. wish. Four. He tries it every time. <laughs> up, out, one more. On each side. In, down, up, out, in, down. Great job. A straight leg that's out. And it's so easy to fall into this. So you want to sit forward, sitting upright. Shoulders over hips is a straight leg lift for 10. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, nine, now flex ten, it. Up, one, two, two, toes up. Three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. It comes to rest. The weight shifts. Eyes off the floor. Lift it up. One, two, two, three, four. Smiles five, are optional. Six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Toes up. One, flex foot. Two, two three, three, good. Four. four Five, six, six, straight leg, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. And we come back. Whew, we're done with them. So put those on the floor, please. And that tennis ball, I hope you didn't put it away. Grab it again, please. And sit tall as you warm up your hands and feet. A very important exercise, um, especially when we get to the feet, because <laughs> that's where your balance begins. 
I don't know. She may be walking home. <laughs> so stretch the fingers. This, you want to work it in between the fingers. So have a tennis ball or two at home that you can do some of these exercises while you're sitting watching television. Yeah. So an open hand, you don't hold on to it. It just kind of cradles there. And yeah. Seven come eleven. Thank you very much. <laughs> it has special meanings to some of us. All right. So put it in this other hand and Baby needs, needs new shoes, right? Shoes, yeah. <laughs> All right, both of them out. And they're pretty close together. Roll it. Don't put it in, but roll it. Drop it into the other hand. Arms extended, right in line with your shoulder so you can see them. And then close your eyes. Good job, and open your eyes. A soft fist. Extended arm. Bring it in and out. Good. In. Halfway out. Carefully transfer it to the other hand. And again, extend it. Bring it close. Out. Bring it in. And last one. Good job. It's on the floor. To wake up our feet. You'll feel it better when you take those shoes and socks off, but I don't have time. You just to see these shoes, they have two laces. Oh, don't even. So that foot rests on the ball. You want to push down as you roll back and forth. You must buy your shoes based on the shoelace. I, I, these were gifts. <laughs> Got to get up an hour early just to put on. <laughs> so try the other. Now back and forth we roll that, stimulating the bottom of your feet. Your balance begins at the bottom of your feet, centered in your core. So that's why we're, we're always hearing, sit up straight <laughs> engage those abdominals. All right, so always have a tennis ball or two close by at home. So push it back in and we're back into the chair with good posture. Your feet apart but behind the knees, engaging the core. Pressing against the back and then pulling away from it. Seal that space and then open it and create it. One more time. Seal it up and arch the back and the stop where it's pressing in. So the legs are out and the feet are off the floor. Circle one, circle two, two three, three, four, four five, five. Change direction. Five, four, four, three. Two, one. They hit the floor again, hip width apart, pull them back, and you're still in the chair, but you're just not leaning against it. Shifting your weight side to side as you walk, rock forward. I'm gonna make up a new word. All right, so toward the edge with plenty of room behind you. The arms are out and the palms are up. Lean back, engaging the core, but don't touch that chair. Jim, don't look. <laughs> and lean back, hold it, and come up. We've got three more. Good job. And all the way up, leaning back. And up, this is it. We'll hold a little bit longer. One, two, two three, four, five. And up, good. The hand's resting, and it's a flat back as you look down into the pond. All right, and lift one heel, then the other, drop them down, working up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Last one, just the heels, up and down, lifting them off the floor, good. We're in a sit to stand position, nose over toes. The arms perhaps dropped at the side, shifting your weight to the ball of the foot, come on up. If you find this to be a challenge, maybe when you practice it at home, have a chair in front of you. Thank you, as you bring that weight back into the heel and there. Good, shift the weight, nose over toes, all the way up, beautiful job, and back in. Good. 
Remember when? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's my poster child. <laughs> Hand up, super job. Dave's wondering how many of these we're going to do. The last one. <laughs> I can see it written on his face. All right, good job. And we come back to that starting position. The figure spread apart, placed on the neck, and the elbows stretched. It's a warm up for a seated crunch. So twist at the waist and now lift the knee to the opposite elbow. One. And shout it out. Two. two and good. Three. And work in that waistline. And One more. Five. Good job. And All right. So we need the large ball. You don't know what I did with it. Oh. There it is. <clears throat> so we use this for, well, for many things, but today we're going to do a seated stretch. So make sure that you're not right against the back of the chair, toward the front more, mm -hmm. holding the ball with the palm of the hand, the ball was placed on the chest, and the elbows are dropped. Find something in front of you to look at, extending the arms. Reaching forward from the hip, don't drop the arms, just reach forward with them as far as you can. Good, <laughs> holding that position. Come up, raising those arms overhead, the feet glued to the floor. Again, the core is at work. No kidding. <laughs> and then come up and here. We're gonna take it as far to the side as we can. Keep your eye on your ball. Good, Jim. Good, Conrad, good. And center. And now let's track it to the other side. Twist, good job, good, 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 hold it. Very nice, and there. Placing the ball on the chest, <clears throat> Excuse me. Elbows drop and squeeze hard. Sorry, I blew that up so much. <laughs> yeah. And relax. Super. This place is right here on the inside thigh. The hands are on top. And again, those feet come together. And it, it doesn't work quite so well unless you bring your feet into a closed position. Looking forward, you wanna squeeze, working to strengthen your hips. You feel that, right? Yeah. I'll replace it if you pop it. <laughs> yeah. Only Fred can do that. I know, it's true. And relax, hold the ball, those feet separated, and we're gonna put this on the floor in between them. We're gonna do some more core strengthening. So back into the chair a little bit. The arms are dropped. If you need to hold on, use the chair legs. Legs out and it's up down for 10. Two, three, yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stay up there, circle one, two, three, four, five. The other way, five, four, three, two, one, and they come to rest on the floor. Great job. Pull it in. Don't you want to get out of the chair? No. Yeah, me too. We won't be using this. So put it somewhere where it's not going to roll and get back into your way and become a trip hazard. So it's nose over toes. Come on up. Standing behind the chair, we're going to do some heel raises and some toe lifts. So Make sure that you're not too far away and having to reach for that chair. And if you don't need it at all, the arms are dropped down, kind of feeling that side seam on your pants. So looking forward, it's up and down. Two. two. Good. Three. three four, four. Work in those ankles. Five. five yes. Six. six seven, seven. Eight. eight Nine, come straight down. Ten. Ten, placing a hand or two on the back of that chair. The weight is in the heel. Up, down with the toes. Two, two three, three, breaking those new four, shoes. Five, five six, six, good. Seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten, and shake them out. We're going to take that position a little wider, and the toes no longer facing forward, but out to the side again. The hands are here. Find something to look at. Again, heel raises, and you'll feel it in your two, three, three yes, 
four, good. Five, keep going, six, seven, tighten the core, eight, nine, ten. And the hands are here. We're gonna bend a little bit, just a little. And then looking forward, slide this to this one side. Yeah, and hold it. Good. Both knees are bent and we're back into this position, sitting on your big draft horse, right? Okay, slide it to the other side. It's a straight leg and a bent knee. Good job. And they're here and they come to a straight position. And you want to squeeze the backside, squeeze those glutes, squeeze that muscle, make it as tight as you can. and relax. Great job and walk it in. All right. We're going to do some stretching standing. So I'm going to turn a little bit so that the people at home can see. We're here and a little bit of too far back makes a big difference. Too far forward. So it's right where you can rest your hands. The weight shifts to the ball of the foot. We're going to take a bow, a flat back, looking down at the chair with that bow. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. From the hip. Good. In this position, see if you can uh, lift the heels up and down a bit. All right, and come up all the way. Bless you. Again, the weight shifts forward. Take a bow, bend from the hip. It's a flat back. We're gonna put a <coughs> bottle of water on it. Good job. And come up. Very nice. All right, your hands are here. The weight though, on one leg. You're gonna lift this knee up and drop the chin down. And it's kind of a cocked foot. It doesn't come back to here, but follow the foot. So it's up and touch. Wow. Three, you okay? Four, <coughs> and one more. Five, and there. Placing it wide, the weight shifts to the other side. Bend the knee, bring it forward, drop the head down. One, and put that foot back on the floor and lift it up again. Two, two and looking forward. Three, three two more, four, four, and one more. Five. five. Great job. All right, we're gonna do some lateral leg lifts. So we'll still be standing to the back of the chair. Though the weight is on one leg, it's a soft knee. Transferring that weight over, this one goes straight out and it's about that high off the floor. So it's out and down. Two, good. Three, Three four, four, you got it. Five, five six, six, keep going. Seven, seven eight, nine. nine. Now put it down ten. right back where it was, nice and wide. The weight shifts, eyes off the floor, and it's out one, and down. Two, two perfect. Three. Three. Four. Four. Get excited. Five, Five six, 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 seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine and ten. ten. Super job. And back into this position. So shifting the weight to that one leg again. First leg straight behind you. It's five, but they're a little slower. A straight leg lift. So it's up, down, two, two. down. Good. Three, three. two more, four. four. Five. Now bend the standing knee and sit into that stretch. Oh yes, that heel pressing into the floor. And come up, bring it forward, the weight shifts, eyes off the floor, straight leg behind you, and it's up, One, down, two, two. good, three, three four, four, and last one, five. five. Bend and sit into it. and come up and bring it forward. We're gonna to stand to one side of the chair, right, like so. And the weight though is on the inside leg. The hand is here, but the eyes are off the floor. Slide this forward. It's a knee that I always think of. It's got a string, and so you're gonna lift the string up and down. Two, Two good. Three, three, you got it. Four, four eyes off the floor. Five. Six, Six, keep going. Seven, seven eight, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. ten. I need a visual. All right, great job. To the other side. So if you need the chair, it's right there. 
The weight is on the inside leg. Find something to look at, not the floor, but forward. Slide this forward, bend the knee and lift it up, One, down. Two, two three, three, four, five. five. Shout it out. Six. Seven. Doesn't that help you? Seven. seven. <laughs> Eight, Eight. Nine. nine. Ten. Ten. Great job. And shake it out. We'll be standing to the back of the chair for a little balance exercise. And sometimes I hear, I know that's a dance step. I just know it is. She's teaching us. <laughs> it may look like it, but it isn't. So we're back behind the chair, arms distance from it, and our feet just nice and wide, soft knees. Drop your arms. Eyes off the floor. Looking forward. Sway. When you drop your focus, most of the time you drop your head. And then what follows is the upper body again. So you want to look forward. Good job. All right, before I get sick, <laughs> Dramamine. <laughs> Place the hands here and shift the weight to one side and this other foot comes close. So it's there. And if you can't see, I'm gonna get this from my chair. I'm gonna shift the weight and touch. So it's kind of a cocked foot there. Shift the weight to the other side and touch. Shift and touch and shift and touch. Use the chair because the last part of this is shift and lift. Yeah, it's a placement exercise and where your weight is. Good job. Step and touch, step and touch, step and lift, good, and step and lift, good. So that was my chair. So you got the idea. We're gonna come to the side of the chair. And again, in that nice wide position, this time your weight's on the inside leg, the hand is holding the chair. Take a step forward with the outside foot, just like there. And the hand is here as you, again, sway forward and back. Eyes off the floor. Good. All right. And now lean back. It's only on the heel. Lean forward. The heel lifts. Good. Good job. Keep your hand on the chair because we're going to lean back and we're going to lift this outside front foot a few inches off the floor. Put it down, shift the weight. Good. Hand on the chair, just in case. Eyes off the floor. If I were working with just a one-on-one, -on -one, I might even, <laughs> so you might as well practice it now. <laughs> Good job. And then to the other side, you know the masks? They come in very handy for other things. <laughs> we just lost potential. So, so we're here, shift the weight to the inside leg, the hand is here, take a split step forward, and again, eyes off the floor, rocking forward and back. My heels don't lift, do they, Bob? And the toes don't lift in this, they're just back and forth. Good. Hand here, looking forward, lean back, toes up. Lean forward, heel up. Excellent. Lean back, toes up. Forward heel up. Everyone's hand on the chair. Lift and lift. I think it's one of the best exercises in practicing weight distribution. Good. Now do it fast. <laughs> no big deal, right? Now keep your hand on the chair and then go back into the hold. It matters greatly where your weight is. Good job. And there, so we're gonna do some cardio and um, just make sure that everything is underneath your chair. Sue, you've got a tennis ball, but I yeah. think it's secured back there. Yeah. All right. Polished it. We'll see. Keep in 
motion. If you're at home, I don't know what your setting is, but you're always able to do cardio in a seated position or standing, just walking in place. back to the chair, sitting toward the front um, with your feet flat on the floor and practice what we do when you come back into your chair, whether it's in home or not. Use that big muscle, don't just <laughs> practice it. So grabbing that one weight, wrapping both hands around it, extending the arms overhead, the shoulders are relaxed and it's a flat back. As you reach forward, drop it and all the way up. Two. Two, good. Five. Up, three, three. raise uh, them high, four, four. Uh, up, five, five. Uh, up, six, six. Uh, up, seven, uh, up, eight, uh, up, nine, uh, up, ten. ten. Uh, oh, great job. And we end with that right before our cool down. Sit tall, feet flat on the floor. Looking forward, take a deep breath through the nose. Hold it, let it out through the mouth. Again, and let it out. Again, and the outlaws I see in my Let it out. Bow the head, stretch it out, and look up. Mouth open slightly. Superstition Back to a neutral position and listen to the other side. Center and straight down. 
Circle the head and keep it slow and smooth. Both directions. Drop it forward and look up, stretch. Down. To the front, the shoulders roll. Up by your ears, pull it back. Extend the arms. The palms are up. And they're resting now on your shoulders. Drop in and stretch it out. And out and one more. Pull it back as far as you can go and then bring it back a bit. Unfold. Rotating the arm and the shoulder. And the smell of the rain on your skin. a big squeeze. Tuck your chin. And then open the arms just as wide as you can. The other one on top. Every class, just about everyone, we try to end with a, a voice and face exercise. We just say A E I O U. So join us. Be animated. A E I O U. tomorrow and I hope you will be too. Go out and make it a great day. Be kind.